This is a video review of the LG Dare VX 9700 from Verizon Wireless. The phone is discontinued now, but it, it is available on eBay and Craigslist or anywhere else uh, you can get it online, but it is not sold in stores anymore. I'm just going to do a video review of it because um, it is a great phone, so let's get right into the review. Uh, on the outside of the phone, on the top, you have a 3.5mm headset jack and a lanyard hole. On the left hand side, you have a lock key, which locks and unlocks the phone. Then you have a micro SD card that supports up to 8 gigabytes of memory. I do have a memory card in there. And you have the speaker button, which turns the speaker on and off. Then you have the uh, micro USB charging port, which is good to see. On the other side, you have a volume rocker. Volume rocker. Then you have a dedicated camera key. I mean, to the camera and to the video camera if you hold down about two or three seconds. Alright, on the bottom, you have uh, just a chin to the phone and a microphone. And then on the front, you have the earpiece on top. And on the bottom, you have uh, three physical keys the call, clear, and voice command key, and the at power and end button. And on the back, you have a uh, Schneider Kruschnock 3.2 megapixel uh, autofocus flash camera and uh, the speaker grill and then uh, let's look at the battery real quick Okay, it's a uh, lithium ion battery 3.7 volts 1100 milliamps so it is a good battery put the back cover back on Alright, so let's compare this to a couple of um, devices I have. I have an iPod Touch, just to see how it um, matches up here. It is uh, much shorter than the iPod Touch and uh, narrower. So you can see, and then uh, obviously not thinner, but it is quite thin for a phone. So you can see right there, that's the iPod Touch. I have the LG Voyager, so considerably shorter, uh, much, much thinner, as you can see, much thinner. And then um, I also have the LG Decoy, so with it closed, it is, uh, air, the dare is a little bit taller, uh, just a tad bit, not much, and uh, according to uh, Skin, how skinny it is. Uh, the Dare is skinnier than the LG decoy. And uh, just show you the Voyager again. So it is much, much thinner. All right. So let's get into the software review of the phone. You can unlock the phone um, by the touch screen or by the unlock or the lock button. Use the touch screen, and uh, right off the bat, you see five menus. Uh, the first one is the messaging. It brings you to your inbox. Then you have uh, your call, dial pad. Uh, you can draw out the numbers and it works very well. You can actually draw out like the whole... It actually does all of them. So, um, pretty accurate. You can also... Call. Please state the name. You can also uh, speak to text. Uh, menu. It has a uh, nine... Um, icons here for menu, and you can rearrange these into however you like. And then you have contact list, and then uh, favorites. Uh, and then you have your shortcut key, and you can tap anywhere, or uh, you can also turn that off. And you can use just the arrow key if you like. So, um, like as you can see, the Dare does have a lot of customization options, and um, Obviously, you know about the dragging the icons to your home screen. Uh, works very, very well. Very interactive, very uh, easy to use touch screen. Uh, considerably better than the LG Voyager. The, if you use the LG Voyager, then use a Dare. Uh, you can see there the huge difference in touch screen accuracy and um, the pressure you need to, for the touch screen. So let's get into the messaging first. Um, let's show you the inbox. 
you can uh, create new text message just by hitting the new message. Uh, you can hit sort and you can sort by time, sender, or size, which is cool. Um, then in options, you can mark all to erase them, erase inbox, and go into settings right from here. These are all your text message settings, pretty much all the same as you'd see on a uh, previous model of any phone. And then from here, you can go to your sent drafts or voicemail, which is a good thing. Um, and then um, you can go to a full messaging menu through the main menu. And there you go, you can scroll up and down. So let's go to uh, create a new text message now. New, you can do text, picture, voice, or vi uh, video. Let's get a text message. From here, you can go to your contacts, your favorites, or your keypad, which is a really cool option, I thought. Um, let's just go to the texting input. You can go to T9 format. You can draw out according to uh, category. And also, you can uh, either rotate or push the QWERTY keyboard button for the four for the full virtual QWERTY keyboard and it does work uh, pretty well people complain that it does not work well uh, actually it does as you can see I texted um, or I typed in hey what's up without any mistakes and you can click done and preview your message before sending it which is a good option now uh, let's go to the calling style 61 star 611 uh, it does have a proximity sensor I don't think you can see it from here but uh, it is there so if you put um, your phone to your face, it does uh, turn the backlight off, so that's really cool. And this is the main calling interface. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, main menu, uh, there's not much to it. I already told you about You can rearrange your icons, um, so and you can reset quickly. That's good. Uh, contact list, you can go to in case of emergency. Um, next to any contact, you can just hit the call button and it'll call them directly. Uh, you can go to, uh, you can search real quick, NJ, or you can go to W, you know, really easy. And you hit new contact, let's go. And um, one thing I noticed that there's a home button in the top right corner of almost any uh, menu you're in. So if you're in, say, the messaging or settings menu, there's a home button there. And then you can go, go back, go to the messaging menu there's a home button there. So that's really cool and um, let's go to the shortcut menu now. Uh, I already showed you the drag and drop to your home screen. You can set um, and change any shortcut you want. There's a very large amount of shortcuts you can set it to. If you download the Verizon Wireless apps they also show up like I have Backup Assistant downloaded as an app. You can use that as well. So that's really cool. Very interactive. Um, it also has a drawing pad um, because uh, it's, this is the first one on Verizon to have the drawing pad so you can easily draw without a stylus so it's really good the bad thing about the drawing pad is uh, you can't erase all real quickly either have to like cancel to go to a new one or new drawing easily or uh, erase all of it which is a kind of a hassle no one really wants to do that um, let's go to settings let's go to display settings first you can choose, uh, there's banner, backlight, wallpaper, charging, and uh, one thing I noticed that when you're in um, a certain menu like display settings, if you tap on one of the categories, it pops open the selections instead of going to a new menu. Um, on previous phones, it actually goes into, or even phones after the dare, it actually opens up a new menu and then you have to go from there. Here it just opens up, it's like a kind of a tabbing system, it's really nice. And I really like that. And uh, let's go into touch. You have auto lock. You have vibrate. There's a lot of vibrate um, options for the haptic feedback that um, is present on the Dare. And one thing I um, people have been complaining is that the Dare is scrolling is very very like slow and bad. And one reason, one way you can fix it is by turning off vibrate on scrolling. Um, with vibrate on scrolling, it has to click every time there's like a contact or there's a menu so it does obviously make it slower so what you want to do is turn the vibrate on scrolling off and it'll be much quicker